Hi everyone, welcome to OrthoCare channel. Today we are going to discuss clinical examination of ACL injury. We have already posted hamstring, harvesting and orthoscopic ACL reconstruction videos which are well appreciated by both general people and medicos. If you are new to this channel, please subscribe and share. ACL injury is well demonstrated by three tests pivot shift test, anterior drawer test, latchman test. I am going to demonstrate to you all these tests in two different patients. Both are chronically ACL injured patients. So you are able to elicit the test right way. So let's begin. Patient in supine, hip abducted, flex the hip up to 10 to 20 degrees, internal rotate the limb, give a valgus thrust. Some people advise axial thrust also. So from extension to flexion, you are able to notice at 30 to 40 degree of flexion, tibia reduces back from subluxator position due to the pull of iliotibial band. Second is last man test, flex the knee at 30 degree, hold the tibial and femoral condyles and pull the tibia anteriorly. Due to absence of ACL, you are able to see anterior translation of tibia. Third test is anterior drawer test, flex the knee at 90 degree, keep the foot in position. Pull the tibial condyle by holding at tibial tuberosity. You can see anterior translation more than 5 mm. There are three components internal and external rotated foot there to elicit intermedial and anterolateral rotator instability. Coming to the second patient, pivot shift test, internal rotation of the foot, valgus thrust at the fibula level, flexing the knee at 30 degree. TBI reduces back in the joint. You will be repeating the test to avoid the false positives. Sometimes you will be able to hear the cluck sound. Remember, it is always from extended knee to the flexion of knee. Latchman test is the only one can be elicited even in acute condition. For anterior draw test, you should remember hamstrings should be relaxed. It will be false positive even in PCL injuries. Conclusion of the test is always by comparing the other knee. Look for generalized hyperlaxity in females. 